Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. I just need to say happy birthday to all of those who are celebrating birthdays. May you have a wonderful birthday and do know that the Lord loves you. We love you, too. On this terrific Tuesday, what an awesome day to be in the presence of the Lord and to share his presence with you. Today, I want to talk to you about a couple verses in a little small book, the book of Jude a book that is oftentimes forgotten by so many. It's that little book in the New Testament that only has one chapter, but it is action packed. It has so much in it. And in this powerful passage in verses 17, 17 through 25, there's a call for us to remain faithful. You know, in the world in which we live today, Jesus wants us to be faithful. He begins to remind us in the latter times there will be scoffers. There will be those who find themselves who are following ungodly desires. Those who are doing the things that are done in the world by those of the world. It is now starting to creep within the lives of those who are believers. Therefore, the, a word is written to remind everybody to remain faithful. You know, in this world, people try to divide us. We find ourselves divided by socioeconomic strata. We find ourselves being divided through and by political and partisan politics. We find ourselves being divided because of skin complexion, texture of hair. We find so many things that can divide us. But Jesus always wants us to have a message that will allow us to be united. He calls us to remain faithful. Now, when you and I see all of the natural instincts that we have in this life, and we know that if we only follow our natural instincts, we will find ourselves being far away from God. But this text is a text that reminds us to remain faithful, faithful to the leading and the guiding of the Holy Spirit. When you and I pray in the power of the Holy Spirit, it is then that Jesus Christ will manifest himself and God the Father and the Spirit, and we will find ourselves doing the things that God has called us to do. When we remain faithful, you'll find out in this passage of Jude, in verse 23, it says something that is so powerful. It says, rescue others by snatching them from the flames of judgment and showing mercy still to all others. You know, when you and I show God's love, we're snatching people from the flame of hell. We're catching them before they get burned. You and I must make sure that we do what God has called us to do. He has told us to reach out in love and compassion, to catch people before they fall away, to let them know that they're love, to have a strong grip, and to let them know that we're here to hold them, we're here to help them, just as we've been helped. You know, many times in this life, we forget. When somebody has helped us, we must learn to pass it on. We can't keep it to ourselves. We must share the good news of the gospel just as it was shared with us freely. Let's freely share with others. And when we do this, it is then that we can be faithful to what God has called us to be and to do. And then we can tell others to be thou faithful as well. Today, I want to remind you that you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And God has a great blessing in store for you in this year of 2022. So walk in the calling in which God has called you. And then everybody can walk along with you. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. And I look forward to sharing with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.